Barb Rose essentially is the people that work there. I mean, that's what makes it special for me. We're doing this dinner, theme is burgundy. So I just thought we'd do a big charcuterie situation with like heaps of baguettes and things. And then we're going to have baguettes again because um, Mike wants to do a cheese course. I want to do dessert as well, so I'm wondering if we like do cheese and dessert. Bread's going to be an integral part of the menu for the feast because from my memories of living in France, I mean, bread was probably like my one staple food item. All of the flowers are organic and for the luncheon, actually for the baguettes, we use a small amount of stone garden because otherwise it gets too dense. I just really want to have baguettes with the cheese at the end of the meal for that authentic feeling just of like scooping up your melted cheese and smearing it on your baguette and just eating it. I regularly don't eat dinner and just eat cheese, that's how much I like it. When I was in France I went to the carbs at Roquefort. I just really enjoy driving around and eating the cheeses of the region. For the feast I'm getting these 900 gram wheels of Epoise because they're super beautiful and perfectly ripe at the moment. I really like the look of this one. It's kind of at like supreme ripeness right now. Yes, yes. Yeah. you have a feel of it, it's perfect. Yeah, it's got a little bit of give but not oozing everywhere. When I was younger and I worked in kitchens in the UK, we used to make beef bourguignon in a French restaurant I worked in. The feather blade is a steak or a, a piece that comes out of the oyster blade. So that oyster blade is a, a piece about probably three kilos, depending on the size of the animal that's come off. I decided to use beef cheek because Vicks had some super beautiful like Rangers Valley beef cheeks that were amazing and also it is traditionally what they use in Burgundy to make this recipe. So Young Henry's is a brewery that I have a lot of respect for. I like working with local suppliers. The, the, the big thing about crystal malt is that it gives this kind of caramelly or like That's sometimes even like, like yeah, yeah, so like toffee kind of yeah. characters to the, when to the I'm beer. When I'm at work I just eat it. Malt is a product often associated with brewing or with making beer, but I just wanted to change it, mix things up a little bit and use it in the kitchen. When I do wine dinners, I work backwards. So if a sommelier knows what wines they want to pour, I match the food to the wines, which is actually what I did for this dinner. When Mike and I first decided we were going to do this, he suggested that we do Burgundy as a region because if you say you're going to do a dinner, like there's just way too many things to choose from. It actually really helps to like narrow things down a little bit. I really like doing events like this, partially because I get to create new dishes for them that I'm maybe not cooking in the bar every day. And then also like there's a really nice feeling when you walk out into the dining room after all the food's been sent and all the stress is over and you can hear the conversation, everyone's happy, everyone's animated, you know, you like you feel like you've done well.